We've still got to be very careful out there in the big wide world. So today, we're going to be living our lives through GeoGuessr. There are a lot of places in the world that are still in lockdown, rightly so, of course. But if we can't visit them in real life, we can visit them in GeoGuessr. This is the COVID-19 vacation. There's an average score of 16,000, so that is our goal to beat. 149 possible locations. Let's get on with it. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Where are we? So this is a global map. Oh, God, what have I got myself in for? Madrid. We're in Madrid. That's fine, then. We should be able to work this one out. So as I zoom in on Madrid... I want to say, hey, make sure to subscribe to Jack Sucks of Geography. I'm trying to reach 200k subs. That would be amazing. So please do subscribe if you haven't already. Right, so we're in Madrid. What do you reckon this big fella is? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Santa Maria La Real de la Alamunda. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, can we see Santa Maria anywhere? That's got to be a place, hasn't it? All of these locations, they're points of interest. So things like museums and stuff. It's potentially going to be one of those. Crypta de la C Cathedral de Madrid. Right, I assume that means it's a cathedral. Oh, we've got it. We found it. We found it. <laughs> okay, here it is right there. Okay, we're facing north right now. It's in front of us. So I guess that means that we're there. Let's have a look for that little building over our shoulder. Yeah, that's where we are because there's that turn in the road. Right, should we just guess? I think we should. 5,000 points. It is a strong start. And what a lovely time I've just had. Oh, right. We're by the coast. Where could we be here? What country is this? There's an Eiffel Tower, but I don't think I want to get sucked into that. Looking around, I reckon that could be a red herring. Right, what language is this then? Um, I'm not sure. This one is not as easy. I want to say Brazil, perhaps. But I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to have a look around for a website. If we can see a website address, we'll see a domain name and that should answer it for us. Somewhere reasonably touristy, isn't it? These are all the tourist shops that you generally see on holiday. Oh, we may have more red herrings. We've got a giant American eagle. United States of America, USA. Don't get sucked into the lies, Jack. Follow the bin men. The bin men, come back, come back. Oh, man, they're getting away. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, we found them, we found them. Go on, give me a website address, please. I can't quite see it. I feel like we're in South America, though. Right, I'm still not finding anything, but if we were to zoom in on South America, obviously we've got Rio de Janeiro being a massive coastal city in Brazil. But perhaps we're in Argentina, obviously that's got a lot of coast as well. But I'm definitely still not sure. I like this place, though. Look at that, they got little pirates! I love pirates! Can't get enough of them, actually. I'll put my pirate hat on, if you insist, if you insist. By the way, Editor Kai, why have you still not moved me so far? Get that sorted out, man. Is that Dollars. Ooh, to R and then dollars. What could that mean? Do you think we'd be better off heading into the central part of the city? I think we potentially would. So I'm going to return to the start and we're going to try and get up into the skyscrapers, I think. Perhaps could find a bank and that could give us a bit of a clue. Two hours later. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's all I wanted. Dot BR. So we are in Brazil. So we're somewhere along the coast. Let's zoom in along Rio de Janeiro and see do these kind of shops match up. Let's return to the start. So if we're facing north, the coast is over on our left. No, our right. Our right. Now, obviously, land's not perfectly square. So that doesn't help ginormously. Are you joking? <laughs> this is the spawn position. And it says Brazil, right? <laughs> I've been looking for ages to find out what country we're in. It says it there at spawn. Looking at Brazil and facing north, which cities could we potentially be in? Quite a few of them, to be honest. That says Turismo under there. Turismo, please be a place. Please be a place, Turismo. I don't think it is. All I've got made is Grand Turismo. I was just zooming in on this little area because it lines up nicely with the position of the coast. We haven't just stumbled upon it, though, have we? This is the kind of place that we're in right now, but I assume they're all over the place. Let's just have a quick look for Bohemia. Go on, give me Bohemias. Give me Bohemias. You know what? I'm going to go for it on this round too. Obviously, we're not going to get a perfect score, but it should be hopefully not too bad. Yes. Uh, we were further up. We were up in Natal, which I'm not familiar with. But that makes sense with their position of the coast over in the east. 700 miles away, so not a great score. Let's play the next round. This is quite fancy, this one. Oh, hang on. Is that a clue? It's too blurry for me to see. Oh, that's quite a big clue. We are in Monaco. Nice. I reckon they have these little clues at all of the spawn locations, and I was just being stupid in the last one. So Monaco is here, is it? Don't tell me. I found it. I found it. So Monaco's a tiny little area. Okay, this is clearly somewhere of interest. This water's got to show up on the map quite clearly. Oh, I mean, it must be that. I think we should... Oh, we can't explore. I didn't realize we can't move anywhere. Okay, this lady here has got to show up as something on the map. A bunch of cannonballs. And obviously there's this castle type building, which has got to show up on the map as well. Oh, what do we do? Where do we want to be? Modern peach-toned church bell tower. I mean, I'd argue that that's peach-toned, but is that 
that a bell tower? It's the worst tower I've ever seen. I'm going to assume that maybe this is this building here. Could that work? I think that could work. And then Statue de Francis. That should be this nice lady. So with that being said, we'll plonk ourselves there. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. We did it. Nice. I'm pleased with that one. Oh my goodness. This is nice. You know what? I'm enjoying Lockdown GeoGuessr. Look at this. This is amazing. This tells us exactly where we are. Oh, and it tells us how plunge pools are formed as well. That's right. I did GCSE geography. I don't immediately recognize the language. I need to get better at that because that is a constant thing that holds us back. But we are at Salto Bossetti. Right. This is in a place, isn't it? Oh my God. Don't go too close to the edge, Jack. This is a beautiful area. <laughs> I have no idea where. I'm already thinking that it could be somewhere in Brazil again, to be honest. But I don't know. Oh, what's this say? Okay, no entry. I'm not one to disobey a sign, so I'll go up this way instead. And hopefully it takes us fairly close to the entrance. Oh, um, I'm stuck in a labyrinth. I am in a labyrinth. But you know what? I'm having a nice time. Me and Becky love a walk like this among this kind of area. And we're not being able to do this for ages. So it's nice for me to sit here and click around right now. Bossetti. Where do you think Bossetti is? Oh my god, it's unreal. We could be really deep into a walk here. And it might be a long time before I get to the car park. You know what I mean? Well, you've got to let me down there. You can't do this to me. There we go. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're making our way around. Oh, good to see you staying hydrated, mate. Very nice. Mm. Oh, look at all those people. We've been followed. We've got to get out of here. That's the worst thing about a walk. Other humans. When I go on a walk, I don't want to see a living soul. Get them disgusting, smelly people away from me and my nice walk. Oh, San Martin Waterfall. I really don't know. I mean, the only big waterfall that I know is Niagara Falls. That's like around here or somewhere, isn't it? And look how kind of built up the area where Niagara Falls is. This is way, way more rural. So I don't think that's where we are because, I mean, look at that. We can't see anything. This is this is kind of really nice and unspoiled. I'm gonna have to do a mad guess, I think, because we're just stuck in this beautiful labyrinth. Trying to look at the tourists and see if we can get a clue on nationality, but, you know, they're tourists. That's the trouble. Right, you know what? I've returned to the start, and I'm going down the no entry. You can't stop me. We're doing it. Oh my god, they're gonna see us. They've taken a picture of us doing the no entry. I reckon we might be getting closer to civilization, you know, to be honest. Taking children on shoulders is forbidden. <laughs> that's fair, to be fair. This is promising, I think. Welcome to Upper Circuit. Give me something. Oh man, I can't get to those bins. I'm hoping there might be, like, a company name on the bins, but I think we're out of luck. We are now stuck. We can't go any further. We have to actually click down here. Can I not get over that? Oh, why must you taunt me? That's a train! Look, Tren! What do we want to do? I think I might be about to get zero points. Feels like it could be Spain. Literally. There's surely some beautiful areas of Spain like this. Go on. Give me Santa something, whatever it was called. Right, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to look at the tourists, I think. I read some comments. If the sun was in the north, that means we're in the southern hemisphere. Is that right? And if the sun's in the south, South, we're in the northern hemisphere. So the sun right now, it's in the north. So we're in the southern hemisphere. I might have got that completely wrong, honestly. We're gonna have to look at some tourists to see if we can kind of guess their nationalities, which I understand is a risky and flawed technique because tourists do not live in this place. So that really does make very little sense. Shockingly, I've lost all the tourists. I'm sure there was loads of them climbing about. Oh, oh my God. Right, what are we thinking? I mean, she looks American right there. He looks like a ranger of some sorts, doesn't he? Okay, he looks like a traveler. I think I'm gonna get this really wrong. There are a lot of places that this could be. I'm going Costa Rica. Literally, the reason I'm thinking Costa Rica is because of this fella. Right, if this is actually Costa Rica, I will be absolutely buzzing. I'm going to go here. I don't even think we're going to be in the right country, all right? Let's guess. <sighs> We weren't in Brazil. Brazil was where I was going to go. And technically, we weren't in Brazil. But if we'd clicked in Brazil, we'd have got a way better score. We were actually... So we were here, which is on the border of Brazil and Argentina. I wish I'd gone for Argentina. But sometimes you've got to be bold. You've got to make these kind of moves. 1% of the time, it could pay off. You never know. This is our final round. And we need about 4,000 points if we're going to beat the average, okay? So where are we? Oh, it's very busy. Oh, my goodness. I have... No clue. Again, it feels like we're in South America. How many of these are in South America? We're in a market. Oh, let's see if we can recognize any of the things they're selling. Wait, what happened? I slid right through the market. I want to see some DVDs. All right, do we recognize anyone? I mean, all their faces are being blurred out, which is a bit of an inconvenience. What do we want to do? Should we head to the thing that we spawned in on? That would probably make sense, wouldn't it? There might be some clues around here, a big sign. Oh my God, look at that grate. I'm sure there are like people trapped down there. They look like little fingers. Why is nobody helping them? Okay, what is going on? on here. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm thinking Mexico, maybe? But I reckon we're gonna have to do a bit of traveling in order to find some clues. What's this say? Get me a better view. Give me a website address. Go on. What does that say? I don't know. Too many arrows, really. I'm a bit overwhelmed. Who's that? Get out of me face, man. Oh, what is that? That says Munich. 
Oh, I don't know. I don't know at all. Oh my god, tourist information. Oh, it's a GeoGuessr player's wet dream. This is gonna help us out. Hello, sir. Could you please tell me where I am? Can I have one of your leaflets? Right, we're at San Cristobal El Alto. Right, <laughs> no idea where that is. This could be a more obscure country than Mexico or something. Why do we not have any website names? Can we please have some websites? I'm not getting much. Don't let me down, tourist information. Look, I'm a tourist. You've got to assist me with my inquiry, please. What are you looking at? Oh, did I just see a flag? Might have just seen a flag, but I'm not sure. If I see a flag, it's not going to help us out, is it? Flag. Can we get a bit closer to the flag? Jesus Christ. Where's that then? Do we Google it? <laughs> I think we Google it because we need to learn. We need to learn the flags, all right? You're always kicking off at me about not knowing where places are. And how am I going to learn the flags if I never learn the flags, all right? See, the trouble we've got is, I mean, there's two flags there. There's a green one as well. So one of them could be like a town flag or something. Oh, there's my favorite flag. We love Turkey here. Oh, and that's them all. Well, that was extremely helpful. I have no idea. And I can't get out of this bloody square. I want to go down there, but the arrows don't go that way. I'm just stuck in this stupid market. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what country I'm in. I don't even know what continent I'm in. I don't know what hemisphere I'm in. I don't know what language it is. I don't recognize either of those flags. Even after cheating, I still don't know where to go. Tourist information provided no information. Ah, what do these things mean? <laughs> Do we want to go somewhere obscure? Look at that, some nice land. I think we go South America and we go somewhere a little bit obscure like Chile or Peru, you know what I mean? I'm pretty sure this is a dreadful guess, but let's just get it over with. Where do we want to go? We're going to do Peru. We're going to go right in the Lima district. We'll go right there. This isn't going to be very good, okay? Get it over with. Ah, uh, it was an obscure place. It was Guatemala. Hey, it's actually not too far from Costa Rica, to be fair. So that is actually very far away. That's 2,000 miles. So in the end, we scored 12,000 points, which is below the average. Heartbreaking news, I know. But thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this. I reckon quite a few of you probably could have gotten a better score than me here. Definitely not my best performance ever, but still fun to do. And hopefully it's helped out with your lockdown ever so slightly as well. So thank you for watching. Subscribe. We need 200k subs. And yeah, I'll see you later.